estimated a quarter million young Irish are in this country illegally, as many as 25,000 right here in Chicago. And as she continues her special reports on the new Irish, Ann Kavanaugh tells us how the new immigration reform laws affect this newest group of illegal immigrants. <laughs> Americans get ready to celebrate their roots on St. Patrick's Day. Their Irish-born counterparts, living here illegally, are trying to keep those roots a secret. The 1986 immigration reform law has the new Irish wanting for cover. I wonder why I did this in the first place, why I got myself in this predicament, because now I can't go back and I, it seems like I can't stay. It's like what I would imagine living on the run in Europe during the Second World War and being sheltered by the resistance movement, which in this case would be the Irish Americans who are legally entitled to be here. Hoping to stay one step ahead of immigration, many have retreated to the underground economy, working off the books in private homes. The illegals know they can't depend on the luck of the Irish. Instead, they've started their own nationwide political action committee called the Irish Immigration Reform Movement. Here in Chicago, they meet twice a month to plot strategy. The first part of that strategy is to come out from the shadows. There's some easier said than done. We have to show the American people that we come here to work, that we don't come here for handouts, we don't come here for any special privileges. And, and we just have to show people that the reason we're here is because of the economic situation in Ireland. It's not through choice, it's through necessity. The movement hopes to rally Irish Americans to its cause. 40 million in the country, so that's, that's, uh, that's a lot of clout. Senator Edward Kennedy, perhaps the Irish American with the most clout, has taken up their fight. He's introduced a bill that would increase the number of people allowed to emigrate here from Ireland. The number was cut back in 1965 to 500 a year. The new Irish also want the amnesty cutoff date extended. Right now, most of the estimated quarter of a million Irish illegals don't qualify for amnesty because they came here after the 1982 deadline. I don't see much of a prospect of any extensions in the uh, date of eligibility or in the date of uh, application. I think we should receive special consideration from the American government because it seeks to help all disadvantaged countries throughout the world, so why not help Ireland, which has given it so much? But despite the strong historical ties between this country and Ireland, immigration says, come May, all illegal immigrants must leave. No one is safe, uh, and that includes the Irish. No one is safe. But even with the fear... It is terrifying to be illegal here. Uncertainty... So it's like being in limbo. ...and lack of opportunity. The jobs that the Irish are doing right now, the American people won't do. The new Irish say... But it's still still a good life. And unlike the song that's become their anthem, what do we see Ireland's best export won't return home I unless am, they yeah. have to. If I get caught, I'm going to be sent back, and what am I going to do back there? Sit at home for the rest of my days, because they're not going to get work back there. And Kavanaugh, Fox 32 News. Just ahead, Dan Wolski is up with...